good to see you this morning. Would you like to sing a song with me? Come and try and do the moves with me. It is very easy. I wiggle my fingers, wiggle my toes, wiggle my ears and wiggle my nose. Now there's no more wiggles in me and I will sit as quiet as can be. Do you want to play a game with me? We are going on a journey just where you are right now. Are you ready? Make binoculars with your hands like this. Look far ahead. We are going to start walking now. Do you have your hat on? Put one on. Walk three steps ahead and bend down to go under the make-believe tree. There we go. Walk two steps to the left and stop. There's a bird that frightens easily. Walk quietly around him. Walk four steps to the right and jump over the rock. Where are you now? Oh, I really enjoyed playing with you guys. Today we are going to talk about Paul who went on a lot of journeys to tell everyone about Jesus' love. Before we read today's story, I must first tell you that Saul was given a new name. His name was now Paul. We are going to journey with Paul and Barnabas. They traveled to everyone all over the world to tell everyone about Jesus. So we call it a missionary journey because Jesus sent them. Their journey started in Antioch. Antioch, just look at that. Paul went to so many places. Then they went to a place with, with a name Seleucia. Seleucia, I've never been there. You've probably, you, you probably haven't been there either. Paul went to a lot of places to tell everyone about Jesus. They got on a ship and sailed to Cyprus. I've been on a ship before, it feels funny. Can you imagine what it must have felt like to be on a ship for such a long time? From there, they went to Paphos. Paphos is the capital of Cyprus. Here we are in Paphos. Can you say it, little friend? What funny names. Let's listen to what happened here. I'm going to tell you, but you can read it in the Bible as well. Today, I want to tell you a story. And this story is from Acts 13, verse 1 to 12. In Paphos, there was a magician. His name was, was Elimas. He told everyone that he knew how to show them God's will. Now, a very important man, the governor of Paphos, wanted to talk to Paul and Barnabas and hear what they had to say about Jesus and about God. The magician Elimans didn't like that the governor wanted to talk to Paul and Barnabas. He didn't want the governor to become a Christian. Now Paul visited the governor and the magician was also there. The Holy Spirit worked in Paul so he wasn't afraid of the magician. Paul looked at the magician and said, you are an evil person and a child of the devil. You are lying to everyone. The true God is working in me. And from this moment, you will be blind. And all of a sudden, the magician couldn't see a thing. He was completely blind. Now the governor saw all of this and started to believe in Jesus. He just loved all the stories Paul told him. Paul was very happy that a Roman governor became a Christian. And luckily, the magician didn't stay blind forever. He also got a chance to repent and eventually became a Christian. Paul 
and Barnabas' first mission sounds like a big adventure. They saw new places and met new people. There is one important thing that they did wherever they went. They told others about Jesus. That was Paul and Barnabas' job. And it is our job too. There were also many wonderful things that happened on Paul's first mission. Paul was very excited when the governor of Paphos wanted to talk to him. And then the governor became a Christian. And do you know what else is wonderful? The magician was a bad man who told lies, but he also heard about Jesus and he could also repent because Jesus loves him too. So, up to now, two people became Christians during Paul and Barnabas' first mission. We can also help to lead others to Christ by telling them about Jesus. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine on a Tuesday, I'm gonna let it shine on a Wednesday, I'm gonna let it shine on a Thursday, oh yeah, on a Friday, I'm gonna let it shine on a Saturday, I'm gonna let it shine on a Sunday morning, praise the Lord, I'm gonna let my little light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. On a Monday, I'm gonna let it shine, on a Tuesday, I'm gonna let it shine, on a Wednesday, I'm gonna let it shine, on a Thursday, oh yeah, on a Friday, I'm gonna let it shine, on a Saturday, I'm gonna let it shine, on a Sunday. Let's pray, friends. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Thank you that you can do anything. Thank you that you can do anything. Help me to take your hand. Help me to take your hand. And do things with you. And do things with you. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you love us. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends.